it's the same argument like saying that you should bring the PM under the ambit of the Lokpal, but not while he's serving, only after he demits office. Yeah, only to this extent that um, uh, about after conviction, uh, the dis disqualification will apply from the next term. But those who are not in office at that moment, they will be disqualified straight away. They cannot contest the election for six years. No, but obviously the key are the people who are still occupying those chairs, right, in, in government offices in ministerial, ministerial rooms. Yeah. So, probably another reason for you to fear Anna Hazare's intervention on the issue of electoral reform. Yeah, why should we think Anna, why should we call it Anna Hazare in uh, um, what is the word you use? Intervention. Intervention. Uh, I think civil, we uh, are addressing civil society all the time. We war, uh, after all, democracy is for the people. Civil society has to understand its uh, responsibility also. I think this, uh, I would uh, request uh, Anna Hazare ji to uh, convert it into a very positive message addressing civil society. Ask questions uh, from the people, why is it that they don't go out and vote? And it is not just an urban phenomenon. We have found in, uh, in Bihar, in UP, even in rural areas, 30%, 40% turnout. Why? And then say that the people, the representative are really not representing the people. If 80%, 90% turn out and vote, I think the problem is taken care of. So you do not agree with people who say that parliament set a dangerous precedent by listening to Anna's demands and debating the issue in parliament and agreeing to the three specific demands that he made. Yeah, I think I would rather uh, not uh, comment on that. Uh, as uh, somebody said, there is a time for every idea. I think the time was then. And I hope the idea, the time for our idea, electoral reform uh, has also come. And we hope uh, that this will be taken up expeditiously. By the government or by civil society? <laughs> by the government, uh, because they have to uh, bring the act before the bill before parliament. By civil society, by actively participating in the election process. You know, for instance, we came across uh, youth indifference. Only 15% of youth in the 18 to 19 age bracket were getting enrolled. Then we came up with a program called uh, National Voters Day uh, to every 25th of January. We started uh, starting from this year. And 17 million voters were added on 25th of January. So uh, we have seen that the voter education is actually already paying dividends. Because we did a scientific study of knowledge, attitude, practice and behavior. Why is it that people are indifferent? Then, then when we uh, came up with the innovative communication program, we use, uh, for instance, our India's cricket captain Dhoni, or uh, Jharkhand and uh, Bihar and in fact the rest of the country. Uh, Sharda Sina, the folk singer uh, in uh, Bihar, led to women overtaking men in uh, turnout. So uh, uh, former president uh, Chakalam, his appeal, so uh, we use local icons. All these things uh, really pay dividends and now we are going to unleash, let me warn you, okay, we are going to unleash young youngsters, youth, uh, students on their parents. If the same parent, if they criticize the government and politician um, without having gone and voted, so they will catch them. Look, you are not going out to vote, so you have no right to criticize.